Peace, it's your girl, Christine, and today we are checking out the second most deadliest virus on Earth. This is by Kurtz, Kurtz, mm, okay, we just gonna say it's the K channel, all right? I've said it right before, and I don't know if that'll ever happen again, okay? But this is, in a nutshell, I, I feel like the, maybe we have reacted to the first, the most deadliest virus, if I'm not mistaken, because it was the one that is a brain-eating virus, right? Or they'll, they'll let us know in this video. This is already giving me anxiety and I'm wondering if I will ever leave my house again, you know, after watching this. We're going to we're going to see. We're going to find out. Hopefully we'll be OK. Make sure you check out the links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and to be a part of our pregame for our live BTS streams where you get to be a part of the streams while I'm recording the reacts. All right. So check those out. Let's get started. Few of the monsters that evolution created have been okay, so successful why are we at hurting us as the variola virus, mm -mm. responsible for smallpox. The carnage it caused was so oh. terrible and merciless that it compelled humankind for the first time but to I act think we truly with globally. Small parks. It was Small one of the greatest now, right? wins of We're our species now? over the ancient powers of nature, yeah, yeah. all okay. made possible by cows. Really? How's that? Oh, they started in the middle. I was like, wait, it felt like we started in the middle of the video, but I, I get what they did there. It's cool. I see what you did. I see what you did. Variola is a virus, a tiny machine that only seeks to reproduce itself. Mm. Evidence of it has been found in Egyptian mummies and in writing from oh, India dear. and China as old as 3,000 years. Oh, goodness. Seeing all, 1, that's making me itch. years ago, smallpox killed up to a third of Japan's population. By a the 1600s, third? it was one of the major causes of death worldwide. In late 18th century Europe, it killed 400,000 a year. Every third person a who went year? blind did so because of this virus. Even in the 20th went century, blind? a hot second ago in history, it still killed at least 300 million people. Smallpox is an abusive monster that returns over and over and over again, people? killing, maiming, and disrupting societies. How, many how could people variola be so incredibly deadly for so COVID? long, and how could we have forgotten you know, its horror so quickly? Out. In 2023, RIP. there are only two laboratories left where the living virus is officially stored for research in okay. Kultura, Russia, and Atlanta, USA. Which Russia is certainly it? a good idea because and, what could possibly oh, go CDC. wrong? Let's say that through an unfortunate series of events, the virus got out and you got okay. infected. Oh, what would happen okay. to you? Yeah, what's going to happen? How right? smallpox kills. Variola is highly infectious and catches a ride in small droplets you breathe in. Immediately, oh. it begins to infect the cells that line your throat and starts right killing them to cause chaos. Oh Why? My gosh. To trick your body into giving it a lift. Whenever cells in your body die a violent death, I your just... immune cells immediately stream to the site of infection to help out. Am I in this case, back to that backfires again? horribly. As immune cells begin cleaning up dead cells, eating uh -huh. viruses, and killing like infected cells, variola up. infects a crucial cell of your immune system, your mm -hmm. dendritic cells, intelligent cells that gather information and leave the battlefield to get help. Okay. They enter your lymphatic system, a highway network that spans your entire body and connects hundreds of immune bases. Oh, In these dear. bases, your heavy defenses are activated and should be the last place so an wait, enemy what would can want we to do invade, against this but variola thing. wants to get here. For about 12 days, the virus quietly infects civilian and immune cells, jumping from cell days, to cell, quiet? infecting more and more of them. At some point, a critical threshold is reached and variola starts its attack for real. Millions for, of viruses use the lymphatic highway to spill into your blood and organs, infecting your whole body. Suddenly, variola is everywhere. But despite this global attack, your adaptive immune system is struggling to wake up. Okay. Your immune cells look for and use critical transmitters called interferons to mobilize the body Do against we viruses. Immunize, interferons, uh, immunize as the against name suggests, smallpox? interfere, significantly slowing down virus infections, but also mm -hmm. quickly activating millions of antivirus weapons. Mm -hmm. But variola is able to deactivate interferons, which stuns oh. the antivirus side of your defense system. Okay. Other systems would usually help, like the complement system, a sort of mm -hmm. mobile minefield that can destroy viruses. But variola yes. manages they to really, shut this down they're, too. They're viruses? And so with little resistance, variola spreads everywhere and infects things. billions of your cells all over your body. Among the infected are your capillaries, the smallest mm -hmm. blood vessels in your body, which die in great numbers. Oh goodness, why all is this, this death making my activates body itch? an immune cell is that you really don't itching? need right now, but that's attracted by death, the neutrophil. 
Normally, an efficient killer of invaders great and small, it's not very effective against smallpox. And even worse, neutrophils fight by vomiting deadly chemicals, which kills even more of your cells. Oh no. On top of that, That's they order like inflammation, chemo. fluids streaming from your blood vessels into your tissue. All over your body, as first millions, then billions of your cells die, you get a rash that only gets worse and worse. Oh my gosh. Pus and cellular junk fills it up as your body swells up with hundreds of lesions oh, all no. over your skin and oh, inside, no. even on oh, your organs, no. all oh, filled no. with billions of variola on viruses. On your organs? I now, am the critical phase all begins. over. As you fight for survival, you burn up in a high fever. Thousands of battlegrounds drain your blood of fluid that streams into your tissue and organs. Oh, no. Blood clotting appears all over your body, while floods oh, of goodness. toxins from dead cells build up and can cause organs to fail. Your oh, lungs gosh. fill up with fluid, making it harder and harder to breathe. Yo. One of two things happens now. Either your immune system wrestles back control, heavy weapons have been dispatched, killing mm -hmm. infected cells, cleaning mm -hmm. up the thousands of infections one by one, killing variola okay. wherever it can be found so you okay. can slowly begin to recover. Okay. The immune system will forever remember variola, making you All immune right. forever. Okay. Or okay. you die, Hope. overwhelmed by the infection and your immune system's panicked reaction to the body-wide infection. About a third of people who can track smallpox don't hold survive. Hold on, no, no, we pausing because, sir, you can't just tell us, hey, one of two things can happen. Number one, this cell will take over and will kill and will be successful and then we'll remember this forever and you'll be good or you die. Way to give us hope and then just nonchalantly take it away. It was very, uh, you know, I, I was like starting to feel hope because this was this sounds like a very damning situation, right? Very damning situation. Like it's like, oh, normally it, it was like <laughs> throughout this, it's like normally this cell that does ABCXYZ would be successful, but not against this one, not against variola. Then the next thing, oh, this the dendrite, it'll suck it up and it does this and it's it's gonna be good, but not against variola. Oh, this other thing, it'll normally vomits this stuff that'll kill it but it's not great against variola. And then he's like, one of two things happen once your body's filled with rashes on your skin and in your body. Having a, can you imagine having a rash on your organs, the inside organs, not just your skin, but the inside organs, the agony that you probably feel? For him to say, at this point, things may be okay, or you may die. Like, hello, sir, have you, do you care about our feelings? I don't think he cares about our feelings. Let's, let's, let's continue. Okay. One, two, three, go. And if you survive, you're very likely branded by scars and may even lose your eyesight or hearing. Oh my, oh my gosh. For thousands gosh. of years, this terrible so disease you ravaged survive, the world, you'll be leaving blind death, or death and destruction, traumatized and maimed survivors. And Until one day, scars? humanity said, enough. Oh, Why wait. don't we have smallpox anymore? Oh, okay. Smallpox so is one of the worst okay diseases then? humanity has ever known. A right. murderous, family-destroying, life-ruining monster. Oh, there was nothing you could do for the infected, but people noticed that if you survived, you were immune. So okay. out of desperation, they came up with the dangerous practice of variolation. Take What's scabs variolation? from an infected person that had a mild case of smallpox, let them dry out, and okay. grind them to a fine powder. Then okay. blow the powder up the nostril of a patient or scratch their skin with it. If things went well, they only got a mild version of smallpox and gained immunity. Oh, this is the like disease. the beginning of variation probably worked because it introduced are. variola in a part of the body the virus wasn't prepared for, disabling most of its nasty tricks. Mm. And because the inoculation was left to dry out, that damaged the virus so it couldn't cause the full disease. Oh, Unfortunately, okay. two to three percent of all patients still died because they got the smallpox oh. or suffered other diseases as a result of treatment. Oh, gosh. Still, smallpox was such a horrible and to some degree unavoidable disease that mm -hmm. people took the risk for themselves and their children. Variolation spread it. around the globe while variola continued to kill millions. Uh, a victory over the virus only became a real possibility when scientists realized fence? that it wasn't necessary mm. to variolate with the real smallpox disease, but much safer to use material from cowpox, a variant that affected, surprise, 
cows. That is disgusting. That a truly is absolutely revolutionary disgusting. Step, and only a few years later, this led to one of humankind's most outstanding achievements, vaccinations. Yeah, yeah vaccinations. The innovation yeah. was simple. Instead of using the real virus to train the immune system, use a related virus, cowpox, mm. that was only mild but also it's gave you immunity. It's cute that the cowpox has little cow Still, faces. it would take another 200 years, countless individuals fighting the monster where they could, uh -huh. delivering okay. vaccines to the most remote places on Earth. Mm -hmm. All the while, the disease ravaged on, killing over 300 million people so in the 20th like century alone. So it's 200 years past that to make it better? In 1966, the World Health Organization better? decided that humanity had to come together in a final, major effort. Okay. A global smallpox news network based on residents in hotspots was created, mm -hmm. tackling local outbreaks of the I virus. I had no idea that it Cases was such were encircled, a, a vaccines wild thing. given, preventing further spread. Mm -hmm. Smallpox only infects humans, so if we stopped the human transmission chain, we would right. starve the virus. The last naturally occurring infection was in 1977, and okay. in 1980, in just shy of 200 years since the first vaccine was used, smallpox mm -hmm. was declared eradicated. Variola, oh, wow. the scourge of humanity, was dead. No oh, more wow. children would be killed by it, no more mothers or brothers or uncles or cousins. That's great. It's hard to convey to people around today what an incredible win this was. Mm -hmm. One of the cruelest, most dangerous Goodness. monsters he that has hunted ugly, us for literally millennia was slain by us apes with pointy needles. Mm. Today, we live in a time of enlightenment. None okay, of us alive today true. are haunted by the spectre of smallpox. That's this true. light is not natural. It was set in the sky by the sheer will of humankind wanting mm -hmm. to be safe from the monsters haunting us. Are you about us. to take our hope away again, sir? But because we live without them, we forget that they ever existed and that they are real. Mm -hmm. That the diseases might reawaken or new ones might be brewing in jungles, wet markets, or laboratories, ready to strike us once more. Mm, we like forget COVID. what an incredible gift vaccines are Goodness. and how hard we had to battle to get them. We are still protected by the light, but it's mm -hmm. cooling each and every day. And we owe it to those who will come after us to make you sure it doesn't go out. Us with no hope we at killed all, one monster. We can do it again. This was his way of telling us like, hey, like it seems like there's no hope and it seems like there's nothing that can be done, but there's still light, but it can die out, but there's still light. So how do I protect myself? That's the, that's the, that's the question that I, I come to now. The, the question I come to now is how can I protect myself against this situation? Although like in my family, in my family, of course, um, I feel like he doesn't. Well, he no, he he ensures and lets us know that it's died out. It's completely eradicated. So we should be OK. And then at the rate that things are now, we could quickly get a vaccine for it once the signs are are um, exhibited if it naturally occurs ever again. The thing that I do want to know about now is because he said that when it's like it lives in you for 12 days before you realize you're sick, before it's like, okay, for real now, we're gonna be for real, for real. They they be, they, are, they become for real, for real in 12 days after you're sick with it for 12 days. So at in that case, right, you've gotten it for 12 days and you're exhibiting the symptoms let's say you get a vaccine they they recognize oh crap this is small po smallpox get them a vaccine or get them a treatment now and let's say they do that are are you still at risk to becoming blind or deaf at that point uh because he's he it, it it seems like it takes some time from going to like system to system and then the internal external rash. And I know at that point you have the scars and you have the blinding and the, the deafening happening as well. In this case, if they catch it really, really early, are you gonna be okay? So that's that's my question. If anybody knows about, you know, that stuff, please provide us some peace, okay? provide some peace all right or if you looked it up if somebody else asked the questions they got and they got the answer let me know down below uh in the comment section let me know how do you feel how did you feel this video had me itching all, all in different places of my body 
for you, were you itching anywhere? Mm, maybe that's not a question I want to know the answer to. But uh, did did it make you feel uncomfortable? That's that's what I want to know. Or were you just eating chips like those people who watch true crime novels, true crime not not novels, but true crime movies and stuff, and just downing popcorn while people are being brutally murdered let me know where you know where do you fall on the spectrum let me know down below in the comment section don't forget to check out the links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and to be a part of our bts streams of while i'm recording and uh don't forget to like and turn on the notification bell boop, boop, so you know when i post i love you guys as always and until next time buddies toodles <laughs>